G'day everyone, this is Theology Josh, and uh, I thought I'd make another short video on some of the things that I've been uh, contemplating through my PhD journey. Uh, there's a lot of winding paths and it can be difficult uh, picking which one to talk about first, but maybe I'll talk about a little bit of the history of the Pentecostal movement and maybe that's a good starting point to generate some conversation. I'll try to keep the video pretty short and invite some feedback. So one of the, the main things that I think is important to note with the Pentecostal history is that it largely had its roots in 19th century holiness or the holiness movement. And a lot of the themes from the Pentecostal movement that we see today were present back then. And um, I guess these, th let's call them threads, uh, began a long time ago and have continued. So uh, in the in the holiness movement, they had what they would have called um, the pillars of their beliefs, which look very similar to the pillars of the Pentecostal movement. And they would be Christ the Saviour, Christ the Healer, Christ the Coming King, and Christ the Sanctifier. And then over time, through different... <laughs> Um, through different generations and different considerations, we added to that um, Christ the baptizer and the Holy Spirit. And even that changed. That changed from once meaning something that was more to do with sanctification and something that um, uh, was intended to be that the Holy Spirit would help us become more holy, which, you know, arguably is still the case. So that's that's not the point that I'm making, but it's that was their emphasis. And then after that, over time, that so that kind of gave us, I guess, five pillars or five unique characteristics of Pentecostal theology. And then over time, Christ the Sanctifier in a lot of movements and a lot of variations of the Pentecostal movement um, and different fellowships across the world dropped that one. So we're down to the four. And those were kind of made famous by Amy Semple McPherson's early church, um, uh, the full gospel, which emphasized, and I'll say it again, Christ the healer, Christ the savior, Christ the baptizer and the Holy Spirit, and Christ the coming king. And so a lot of what we do in Pentecostal theology seeks to have conversation through what through those four things. We consider those as distinctives of the Pentecostal movement. So I think maybe I'll stop it there for now and maybe invite you to contribute a little bit to that conversation. And maybe a question that I've got for you today is why do you think the emphasis on Christ the sanctifier, as in Christ who helps us uh, become more holy, uh, has, has been reduced in emphasis during the Pentecostal movement's history? Um, I'd be interested to, to read your comments and uh, maybe engage with them in future videos. So I've got so much to discuss um, and a lot of content and keep these videos going for ages, but I'll try to just keep it brief like this. And if there's um, topics that we find more interesting, I'm happy to stick around and talk about those, or I'm happy just uh, just as easily just to you know skim across the surface and, and show some brief categories that we can engage with. Either way. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.